Okej, okay. we're good to go. No. Chciałbym Pana spytać o wrażenia po spektaklu, po spektaklu, który opowiadał historię Aleksandra Ładosia i grupy berneńskiej, historię niemal nieznaną społeczności międzynarodowej. Okay, Jeffrey. So uh, he just as asked a question. So uh, what are your impressions after tonight's show? Uh, um, the show about the group of Wadosh, the guy who uh, about the show. Yeah, the show about the uh, about the guys who were very brave to save thousands from Holocaust. What are your impressions? Well, two two different questions. Uh, <laughs> I think the the performance by the students from Woods uh, was beautiful. Uh, I love the the music. Uh, I like uh, the songs of the uh, 1930s specifically uh, that were performed at the time both in Yiddish and, and in Polish and of course they performed it in Polish today. Uh, I think it's a great show to bring to people's attention uh, the unfortunate time period of, of during the war uh, but also the uh, beautiful story of the Wadosh group. Uh, and what makes the story so special is the fact that the Wadish group was really a, joint, a partnership, a partnership between Polish diplomats in Switzerland uh, and Jewish activists. Uh, in addition, um, the story of the Wadish group is not just Polish diplomats trying to save Polish Jews in German-occupied Poland, but Polish diplomats who tried to and did save Jews throughout Europe, Jews in Holland, Jews in Germany, and Jews in other countries. So it was not just a, um, an attempt to save citizens of Poland, it was an attempt to save Jews throughout Europe during the Holocaust. Czy wcześniej pan znał tę historię, czy znał pan nazwisko Aleksander Ładosz? So have you known that story before, before you, uh, before, before you saw the show? Oh, oh yes. Um, actually, actually um, I've been very much involved in researching the story of Alexander Wadosh uh, and working very closely uh, with Jakub Kumoch, who was the uh, Polish ambassador to Switzerland uh, four years ago, five years ago, when the story sort of broke. Um, and the reason for that is that I knew about the passports for about 30 years. Uh, I found these passports in Yad Vashem in Israel but I didn't know the story behind them. Uh, I had no idea that the passports were forged. Uh, and I had in my bookshelf copies of about 150 of the passports for Jews from Benjamin and Sosnowiec in the Zagwembi area of Poland. Uh, in fact, the majority of the passports uh, that were intended for Jews in German-occupied Poland were for Jews in the Zagwembi area of Poland. Uh, and uh, I work closely with uh, historians at the Pilecki Institute uh, and Jakub Kumoch to, to bring this story to light. Uh, and I'm very, very proud of it. To pytanie troszeczkę retoryczne, więc ja je inaczej zadam. Jak pan myśli, co należałoby mówić ludziom społeczności międzynarodowej, niekoniecznie Polakom, zapraszając ich na taki spektakl. Um, Jeffrey, what do you think, what we could do, what should we do to uh, let the people know that this is a story worth knowing? More events, uh, sh uh, lectures, <coughs> films, um, st writing stories. Um, I just came back from Poland. I was there for over two months uh, and spoke to many people, Polish people, in my hotel and other places. And unfortunately, I mentioned to them the Wadosz group, uh, Alexander Wadosz, and unfortunately, they never heard of him mm -hmm. in Poland, in Poland. Uh, so what can we expect in the United States or anywhere else? Uh, the story is, I guess, relatively new. Um, and more and more uh, um, publicity about the story uh, must be had throughout the world, both to, to Jewish population, to Polish population, and to the world population. Uh, because um, it, is, it is the, the just and righteous people 
who I think we want to teach uh, to our children uh, to try to emulate uh, rather than, unfortunately, uh, the bad people uh, that existed during the war, although they must also be acknowledged because uh, during World War II, during the Holocaust, um, there was good. Um, in fact, the, uh, the people who saved my mother's life, uh, I call them angels, not just righteous, um, but they were bad. Uh, and they were terribly bad people. But the, uh, the lesson to be taught, isn't it, is to be good, is to do um, what Aleksandr Wadosh and uh, the group did. Poproszę Pana jeszcze o kilka słów o sobie. Gdzie Pan się urodził, gdzie Pan mieszka obecnie, czym Pan się zajmuje? Uh, we, would like, we would like you to, to tell us um, what are you up to at the moment? Where do you live? Where were you born? Sure. Uh, what do you do, um, you know, to pay your bills? And <laughs> um, you don't I, need to reveal, you know, no, no. too much information. Uh, I was born in New York. Both of my parents were Polish Holocaust survivors. Mm -hmm. uh, my father was from Zawiercie. Uh, he was in Auschwitz and then in Genshufka. Uh, another story, by the way, uh, that very, very little people, including Polish people, in know Warsaw, about. It was it was now Warsaw Ghetto. Uh, after the Warsaw Ghetto was liquidated, uh, and no Jews were in Warsaw except for those in hiding, uh, the Germans decided that we now need Jews to help clean up the ghetto. So my father was very lucky, and a telegram was sent from the Gestapo in Warsaw to Auschwitz. We need 1,000 Jewish men to be sent to Warsaw. And my father and my uncle were sent to Warsaw uh, on November 27, 1940, uh, 1943. Uh, and they were there till the end of July 44. Um, uh, before the uh, uh, the Soviets uh, 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 liberated Warsaw, um, and uh, my father was sent on a death march from Warsaw to Dachau. My mother um, was born in Moschiska, which is now Ukraine, 12 mm -hmm. kilometers east of uh, the border. Um, and during the war, my mother, my grandparents, my uncle, uh, and other family members were hidden by a Polish Catholic family in a village called Lutzkowola, uh, which I visited a couple of weeks ago. And I'm very happy to, you know, to tell you uh, 